Hey everybody, I uh, hope you had a great Memorial Day and today we are going to be talking about Excel test points. So I have a document over here called Nick's CalDoc if you open it up. Um, it has uh, kind of like what I'll be measuring uh, during my calibration um, and uh, you know you can use this as just a template and obviously I'd be going in here and maybe taking down some of these calculations during the event um, and so what you can do and you can always look in the help manual for this but if you go to PDF output um, we can copy this into the document as a second sheet and so it's going to use this to map uh, your Excel document and embed it into your calibration certificate so let's go ahead and close out of that you're going to launch your add edit documentation and add your current document in there. So we go in here, Cal test. I already added it uh, in the one setting that you want to ensure that you have set up is on the second step, we're going to select document type embedded calibration doc. All right. And so we hit next all the way through, hit finish, close out of that. So in our test point area, we're going to want to select Excel document with PDF export. Okay. And then right here, we're going to make sure that we have the correct document selected. I always like to go ahead and open up this document before I launch the event, just to make sure that everything's coming in. Okay. Um, Next, you're going to want to make sure that that document is closed on your desktop and just not open at all um, because it will throw an error when you go to try to launch the event. So we then go up to events, come on down to our calibration events and just run this like normal. So as we are going through here, make sure we have everything entered. Go next, next. Next, when we get on our test points, it will launch that Excel spreadsheet. You can then you know, make your uh, calculations or adjustments to whatever you need to do here. Uh, hit close, you can save that. Uh, and then we just finish the event out like normal. And then we go over to our history section. And here is the event that we just ran. Right over here, it does break out the Excel spreadsheet uh, as its own document, but it'll also be embedded in this original cert as well. So if we double click on this cert, um, you can see I have some document sign off set up. Um, but as you scroll down on the second page, it's already embedded. I didn't have to go into my certificate to uh, make these changes um, to pull this in which is what you have to do currently um, with you know Excel range, Excel cells. You have to sp specifically pull in certain areas onto the cert. Um, but this is just going to pull it in and embed it on that second page all automatically. And then you can just tweak the original document uh, for formatting and whatnot if you need to. Um, and so the last piece of information is in the help manual. see so the exact terminology that you would want to use is Excel document Let's see what kind of information we have in here and there you go so if you uh, just go into this section in your help manual you can see what I searched there um, it will break down each variable for you so you can learn about that and how to handle it. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great Tuesday.